I'm a content creator, I'm an athlete, and I'm also a family man, so you gotta balance a lot and you gotta be really efficient with your time and just, you know, I'm 32 going into these games and I feel the best that I felt. So whole famous Aaron Brown. Hey, foot out here today. Just took us through it, three hits, finals, what was it out here? Yeah man, um just wanna break up training and get a little tune-up race before Paris. Um sucks that there was headwinds here, but you know it was good weather, good competition. So just wanna get the legs spinning and fill it out, work on some things in my race pattern. And I felt pretty good about it, you know, so I'm going back to training now, um, work on my velocity at the end of the race, and then I'll be ready for Paris. You're always teaching us one thing or the other. You're always analyzing one thing or the other. Right. Just let me know how you get to balance, like, content creation right. with being an athlete. Because people tell me, I, you have to pick one. Yeah. So, but you're doing two great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, it's just about prioritizing your time, you know, like, I'm a content creator, I'm an athlete, and I'm also a family man, so you got to balance a lot, and you got to be really efficient with your time, and just kind of... Uh, focus on one thing on at a time mm -hmm. kind of set your time blocks and when you're in it be in it like don't let don't be in family time worrying about content or being an athlete don't be in an athlete worrying about content time when you're in it be all in it so sometimes I got to put content to the back seat you know I love to do it I, I want to put so much energy into it because I love it and it's fun but at the end of the day I'm an athlete first and then family man as well so I got to set my priorities and when I'm in it I want to be all in it I mean you've been to 2016 Olympics you're in 2021 2012 as well are you in 2012? Yeah, man, I'm old. <laughs> All right, but... I'm OG. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fourth time you're going for the Olympics, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, three times, two times you were medalist, right? Yep. With all that experience, what what's it in what's in for like this 2024 Olympics? Man, just being my best. You know, I, I feel great. You know, I'm 32 going into these games, and I feel the best that I felt. So now I'm just going to show the world what I can do. Um, I feel like all my races this year, I've been in like headwinds like today, or it's cold or windy or something, yeah. but I feel like I'm peaking at the right time, and uh, I'm gonna shock some people, I'm gonna go out and do my thing, and you know, let the chips fall where they may. I mean, if there's one thing you're gonna tell the 2012 Aaron Brown, now what would that, what would that be? Because this is 12, 12? 12, <laughs> 12 years ago, yeah. Oh um, my God. I would just say, live in the moment, and uh, don't be afraid to go for greatness, you know? Um, a lot of people will tell you to strive for something, stay within your limits, but you can always push the boundaries and go for whatever you think is possible. Go for your dreams, set them high. Why not? Like go for go for the stars and don't let anybody minimize you and tell you what you can and can't do. If I was in 2012 uh, and you told me I was going to be running at this level still and, and 12 years later, I'd be like, man, you're crazy. I'm not going to be in the sport that long, but mm -hmm. here I am and I still feel great and I don't feel like I'm slowing down. If anything, I'm getting back faster. So yeah, let's um, get it. <laughs> I'm trying to defy the odds and you know, um, I believe in myself. So confidence is key. Good luck. Good luck in Paris. I right, appreciate it. Good.